sta prendendo il via proprio in questo momento l'attesissima due giorni del Middle East Sports Investment Forum. New Capital oggi sarà qui ed è qui eh, come media partner. L'obiettivo principale è trasformare la regione in una destinazione eh, globale per eventi sportivi internazionali eh, come stanno dimostrando anche gli investimenti già fatti negli scorsi anni in molti sport eh, di tendenza e poi la parte istituzionale importantissima arrivata direttamente dall'Arabia eh, Saudita come il ministro degli investimenti eh, il general manager degli investimenti e anche il general man manager proprio della parte sportiva che nel paese si occupa eh, di, questa, di questo progetto. Grazie Maximilian e grazie to Nesset e a tutti i partner che hanno lavorato per fare questo fantastico gathering con alcuni dei leaders del settore del settore in Italia e oltre, che si è qui in una fantastica città di Milano, dove abbiamo brainstorm together, imagine the future, and create opportunities uh, for all. I want to also thank you, I and see on the day you've also been a great partner. I'm honored that the Ministry of Investment is doing this, uh, not as a ministry, but as part of a whole of government approach. And we have the Ministry of Sport leading the way, and we're right there supporting you. Uh, Uh, every day in Saudi Arabia is an exciting day. Every day in Saudi Arabia there are great things happening these uh, years since Vision 2030 was launched. And as somebody who is quite advanced in age, I, uh, uh, as, as I'm sure you all know, uh, I am of the school that would have thought 10 or 20 or 30 years ago that our priorities need to be building the physical economy of Saudi Arabia, uh, the infrastructure, the brick and mortar, the manufacturing, the logistics, uh, the pharma industry, the science uh, and technology, and other things will happen by their own. Sports included, F&B included, design and architecture, Uh, and arts uh, will uh, will follow. Uh, and thank God I was not making the decisions <laughs> because we 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 have many blessings in Saudi Arabia. One of them is our inspirational leaders, who are Highness Mohammed bin Salman, who uh, when he came into government, and I was fortunate to be part of his team back in 2015, 16, 17 as we were planning the uh, future of Saudi Arabia. And he made it certain that everything I said will be developed at scale and with speed. But at the forefront will be things that touch the people, especially the young people of Saudi Arabia, and things that will integrate the kingdom into not only global economy, which is very important, but also global society. So he started talking about sports, physical sports, but also esports. He talked about competitiveness, being on the mat in the World Cup, being on the mat in the Olympics, being on the mat in new sports that hadn't become global like esports. And just a few weeks ago, the kingdom hosted the esports cup, which is a new event that. Uh, Kingdom with the leadership of His Royal Highness, who believes in electronic gaming, is also very key. But back to traditional sports. I'm sure you're following. Every month there is an event of some type in either Saudi Arabia, a stadium in the kingdom, sponsored in abroad, whether it's uh, you know, the Champions League game coming to the kingdom, boxing uh, matches, tennis, golf. Uh, or, of course, we're doing a lot of uh, sponsorship. We're investing in soccer and football clubs uh, abroad, uh, as well as many uh, events. So, uh, the belief in sports as a huge growth business globally 
through uh, modern society consumption, spending, and with the digital streaming, uh, corporate sponsoring, naming, all of this is providing uh, a great opportunity for uh, corporates to uh, benefit from. And we believe that what we've seen in the hundreds of billions of dollars, if not trillions of dollars, going to global sports is only the beginning. It's going to increase uh, over time. And the kingdom has and will continue to double down on the sport value chain, the sport industry, the sport companies, sport clubs, uh, and create a platform for them, not only within the kingdom of Saudi Arabia uh, and globally. We also look at the sport, and it's well documented in our Vision 2030 roadmap, that sport is also, in addition to the business aspect, which all of you think about, is also absolutely necessary for humanity. We need sports to be part of our lifestyle, especially given the, the emerging lifestyle for children, for youth to sit down and all the, look at their devices. We talked about how good uh, digital gaming and, and esports, but it also has its disadvantages. If human beings don't move and don't compete and don't play and don't interact. So, physical sports counteract whatever negativity may come from the reality of uh, the digital world. So, the kingdom is a very big believer in investing in our lifestyle, in schools in uh, fitness clubs, in uh, every neighborhood, everybody has to have access, linking it into our healthcare system, linking it into our insurance sector, linking it into uh, even our labor policies to provide the incentives and the nudges for people to play sports, to exercise, to live a healthy life, and to extend the lifespan of humans around the world, not just in Saudi Arabia, continue to go longer with a higher quality of life where we believe we believe sports is the key uh, neighbor it's not a nice thing to have it's absolutely foundational absolutely uh, necessary so today i am really delighted that i'm here in this great uh, you know, world great world city global city a capital of many things uh, Milano, people know it for many things, including including uh, fashion, and food, and design, and furniture. Uh, but we also know it to be a great sporting city with uh, clubs that are represented here through the CEOs uh, of uh, two of the football clubs. Uh, and in the morning, we start with green shoring, address, addressing manufacturing, addressing uh, access to green energy. Uh, early in the morning, and then we have a round table for global construction companies and uh, supply chains. Uh, and now we have one of the most important sectors globally in this city, in this country, and indeed in Saudi Arabia, which is sport and sport uh, businesses. Uh, and I would just want to end by, uh, by saying whatever it is your business is, an individual enterprise, Consider the kingdom to be a partner of yours. Consider the government of Saudi Arabia as an enabler, even if for whatever reason you're not investing directly in the kingdom, we'll work with you globally. We're a global uh, agent for, for this uh, sector, for the global success. Uh, the Ministry of Sport of Saudi Arabia, Ministry of Investment, other entities like the PIF, who is here also. I think we have a representative from the PIF. Uh, with us today are all here to look for partners who share the same vision, the same ambition, uh, and the same uh, aspirations to contribute to a better future, better humanity uh, for all of us. So, thank you very much. Uh, and it's a pleasure to have you all with us in this uh, gathering.